Kyle from XR Rights, and I think we should start fighting fire with fire when it comes to release letters and screwing with employees who are trying to leave their contract, be it legally or perhaps illegally. And I've talked a long time about creating a blacklist, and I've talked to some other people who've been interested in making a blacklist, and I think that just the threat of a blacklist might be enough to get some good behavior out of schools and out of employers. And so I'd like to reach out to any other foreign media or WeChat channels or anyone interested in helping kind of collaborate on a blacklist. And the way that I see it working is when an, empl when an employee, an expat, has a trouble with their school, what they'll do is is they'll reach out to us and then we will start representing them right away and we will tell the school the consequences for fucking around i.e. their name and and everything will will be publicized everywhere like youtube and across any partner channels who would like to work together on a blacklist and then if the school continues to fuck around we can all publish their information at the same time so i'd like some big media sources like the beijinger or whatever but Perhaps some smaller ones like Black and Abroad in Asia or others will get involved. And yeah, this, this way we can kind of function like an expat union. So it's not just a big school messing with one employee, but actually all expats work together to, to stop the exploitation. And they know that if they mess with one expat, then they're messing with a lot of expats. And also it avoids having to... Uh, get to the point where you're going to the arbitration bureau and trying to handle everything in a in a slow legal way that can become a huge pain in the ass. So if you're having a problem with your school and you're still negotiating, you're trying to get your release letter and they're saying fuck no, then then come to us and we we will help you uh, threaten them and make some consequences known to them and and we will try to organize as many people as possible to get on board. Thank you, Kyle from Expat Rates.